we started by creating a bitmap file, an image file, of what we wanted the sign to look like. So this is that file right here. We then pulled it into software that will translate the picture itself to commands for the CNC router to carve onto the blue piece of wood. So we save this file. We then pull that file that we just saved into the actual code, code software that will look at the picture itself and describe the routing path for the piece of wood. And now you can see the yellow line is where the router bit goes. The blue line is going to be the path that it follows. So we have now told the router the center of the piece that we're going to be working on. You can see over on the left where it says X minus 0 inches, Y minus 0 inches, and Z 0 inches. That tells us that we have the piece of wood centered directly under the router bit so that we're ready to start carving now and we will watch and see what happens. So the first thing we do is turn on the router Here's the sign as it's off the router. Here's the sign once the carved portions have been painted. And here's the finished product.